Welcome in to Race Day on FS1. I'm Kayla Vinci alongside America's crew chief, Larry McReynolds, Daytona 500 champion, Trevor Bain. And what are we in for today, guys? Another great race, I'm sure, because it's been great all year long. Huh? Yeah, the whole season has been phenomenal. Larry, thanks for letting us join you on your Cup and, Race and Day show here. Bow tie. Is that not the best bow tie you've ever seen? Well, the way I see it, Atlanta is like a super speedway, <laughs> so you have to think, <laughs> do I want to be trimmed out or down you're, more? You're I'm in with the a trimmed out look. You're, you're looking good. Hey everybody, welcome in to a Wednesday edition of NASCAR Race Hub. I'm Caitlin Vinci, and it's National Best Friends Day. I'm here with two of my besties, David Reagan, Drew Blickenserver, with me for the next hour. So we just got back from St. Louis. It was eventful. How was it from your vantage point, huh? And Knoxville isn't just your typical racetrack. It's full of history, prestige, and notoriety in the motorsports world. And every driver in the field would love to win in Iowa tonight because a dirt win in Knoxville means bragging rights, but it also could mean a spot in the postseason. What team will rise from the Iowa dust and make it happen? We we're going to find out. Welcome in to Race Day on FS1. I'm Kayla Vince. Series preview as the postseason is looming. As promised, here's Jamie and Drew with me. Great to see the two of you. I work with you all the time. I haven't seen you in ages. I've it's been on vacation. You. That's why. Been on vacation. <laughs> I, but you're not wearing your glasses, so I'm bummed about Nobody that. Nobody even knows that I wear glasses, <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> <Nobody>. <laughs> Sorry, I just gave it up. But it's good to have the two of you yep, with me for the show today. So, back to racing, though. Some, some serious this weekend. Things are going to look a little different on pit road for Joe Gibbs Racing. We went by the team shop to look at how JGR has choreographed a new form of pit stops. Here's a preview for accidents, Ooh. a lot of similarities. That could make things very exciting as we approach this race today. So 18 races down, but 13 races ago, we had race five of the season. We did visit the new Atlanta for the first time, and to say it was a mile and a half Atlanta race we hadn't seen before is an understatement. Here is a quick look. Thank you, guys. Well, you are out on the West Coast, of course, in California. I am here in Charlotte, North Carolina, where the shops for the Cup Series teams are a very busy place as they're getting ready for the Clash race. So I stopped by Stuart Haas Racing in Kannapolis to check in with some of the key personnel on how they're preparing for the Clash. And first up with me is Greg Zipidelli, a very important person, of course, here at Stuart Haas. It was an eventful and chaotic race here at the newly paved Atlanta Motor Speedway. From start to finish, there was so much action throughout the course of this race, but the one that ended up here in Victoria Victory Lane today was very much a part of the conversation, led 111 laps, and that was William Byron and his crew chief, Rudy Fugel. William getting his third career win here in the Cup Series, securing Hendrick Motorsports their third win so far this season. I see people tweeting you, saying that you are an inspiration to them. That That's kind of a lot to carry, but you seem to embrace this, both of you. I think one of the, the biggest things you can do is just be open around people who haven't experienced that before. It helps them understand that, that you're just people. You know, I feel really good about today, and if I win, I'm going to dedicate this to my mom. And, uh, and it actually happened. And it was just a great way to close. It was tough, like, hearing my dad, he just breaks down, you know, on the phone at night. And, you know, it was hard to hear him like that because I've never, I've never heard him have that much emotion. and the emotions that she felt. It sure did. You mentioned the throwback. So did you have one that stands out to you? Favorite throwback? What do you think? You know, I... I... You're going to be a dad yeah. this year, which is very exciting. So we thought that we would throw you a baby shower. So we have a bunch of games set up for you. And the first one is to undiaper this baby and see who can re-diaper it the quickest. Okay. okay? You ready for right. this? I'm ready. I may help coaching you through it. We're doing this fast, but if it's a real kid, you probably should take your time. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> oh, no. I hate to break it to you. You're definitely about to lose. Yeah, just look. That's okay. That's okay. Well, how many times are we going to say trouble on this show, you think? I, mean, <laughs> I feel like the barber had trouble cutting his hair is what I feel like happened right there. More troubles abound. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you think Noah might do today, though, Sears? Yeah, I mean, I think he's got a really good shot today. He over for that team. And most NASCAR teams are based here in Charlotte, North Carolina. But for Thor Sport Racing, Sandusky, Ohio is home to the championship winning team. One of their drivers, Ty Majeski, has had a breakout season so far in the truck series. And he's not just a wheelman. Ty holds down numerous roles at Thor Sport. Our Jamie Little went all the way out to Ohio to find out more about the shop and time.